All right. Shalom. Call the Lord Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash. Double honesty, the apostle, that was a great millstone. This video is going to be titled, uh, The Elect or Singing the New Song. And we're going to go into what that new song is and also uh, in order for us to know, in order for us to sing a new song, there had to have been an old song that that we had were singing. So we're going to see what that old song is and what the new song is. Uh, this is Exodus chapter 15, uh, starting at verse 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Most High and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Most High, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. The, the Lord is my strength and my song, and he is become my salvation. He is my power, and I will prepare him in habitation, my father's power, and I will exalt him. The Lord Most High is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Now, if you if you look at what uh, this song that he's singing. In these uh, first five verses of Exodus chapter 15, he's singing about the deliverance of Israel out of the Egyptian captivity. So that's what uh, that's what that song that he was teaching referred to. <clears throat> this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse uh, starting at verse 19. Now, therefore. Write ye this song for you and teach it the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them. So the first part of that song was the deliverance. And this is our, this is a song also. This is part of the song also. For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers that floweth with milk and honey and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxen fat then will they turn unto the other gods and serve them and provoke me and break my covenant and it shall come to pass when many evils and troubles are befallen them that this song shall testify against them as a witness <clears throat> for it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed for I know their imagination, which they go about, even now, before I have brought them into the land, which I swear. Moses therefore wrote this song the same day and taught it the children of Israel. And he gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a charge and said, Be strong and of a good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel to the land, which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of the law in the book until they were finished. That Moses commanded the Levites which bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord saying, Take this book of the law and put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant. For the Most High is your power that it may be there for a witness against thee. Now, that's, that, that's all part of the song. So, that old song was the singing of the deliverance of Israel from, from the Egyptian captivity. And also a part of that song was to know that uh, we would break the covenant and we would go off. So what's the new song? Because that was the old song. Now, like I said, it's the old song because that's, that's the one we broke. We, you know, that, that old covenant was the one that we broke. <clears throat> so what is this new song? Let's go to Revelations. Let's see. I think it's... Yeah, here it goes. 
Revelation chapter 5, starting at verse 9. And they saw and they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. That's the one third. That's the elect. So the elect are going to be singing the new song. Further proof this is Revelation chapter 14 starting at verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred forty and forty and four thousand. The hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they, which that's the governing body, the top echelon. They are a part of the one third. Uh, they're not separate from the one third, the hundred and forty four thousand, or a part of the one third of the house of Israel. They're just the top governing body of echelon of it. <clears throat> These are they which were not defiled with women, those other uh, other gods and other religions, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, out of four thousand of men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Meaning they were the first creations back in the back in the beginning. They were the ones that helped create. And they follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth, meaning no matter what, they, the, this word will be in their mouths. So they are singing the new song in verse 5. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. So, so what is the new song? So we know that the elect are the ones that can hear the song. The elect are the ones that will receive the song. And the elect are the ones that will uh, uh, sing the song. So what exactly is the new song? Let's go to Jeremiah. Chapter 16. Start at verse 14. It says, Therefore behold, the days come, saith the Most High, that it shall no more be said, Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of the north and all the lands whither he had driven them and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers so you see there it's not not going to be said it's not going to be uh, talked about the deliverance out of Egypt but it's going to be talked about the deliverance out of Babylon the Great out of this land, the land of the north, <coughs> North America, and all the other lands where, the, uh, where our people reside, that's going to be the new song that they're going to be that the elect are going to be singing, and that's the song that we're singing now. That's why I, that's why I say the elect are the ones that can hear the song, receive the song, and the elect are the ones that are going to sing the song. Because the, the, the new song is this truth, is this word. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah chapter 23, starting at verse 5. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up uh, 
but the Lord liveth which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all the countries whither I had driven them and they shall dwell in their own land that's that new song talking about the deliverance <clears throat> a part and here's the other part of that song too it's not only about the deliverance, about being brought out of and saved out of Babylon the Great, or saved from our enemies. There's another part of the song, Jeremiah chapter 31, starting at verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant. With who? The house of Israel and with the house of Judah. That's what a new covenant is for. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand and to brought to bring them out of the land of Egypt which my which was the old song that Moses sang or taught the children of Israel which my covenant they break although I was an husband unto them saith the Lord but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days saith the Lord I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and, and will be their power and they shall be my people. And check this out in verse 34. They, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, Know the Lord, know the Lord. For they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. That's that new song. The new song is the deliverance out of Babylon the Great or America. And uh, also a part of that new song is the law, statutes, and commandments being written in our hearts so that we will no longer go off, we will no longer sin. And we will no longer have to, like how how uh, how we making these videos, going out in the streets, uh, highways and byways, highways and edges, teaching the uh, teaching the people, teaching our people to repent, turn back to the Lord. We won't have to do that anymore. We don't have to tell our people, uh, hey, turn repent, know the Lord, know the Lord. We won't have to do that anymore. That's a part of this new song. That is the new song that we're singing. We're singing. We're singing about our deliverance. And we're singing about the uh, law, statutes, and commandments being written in our hearts. And we're singing about the fact that we won't have to teach our people anymore. That's the new song that the elect will be singing. Hope you're edified. Shalom.